Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to talk about iOS 17.2 developer beta 3. The beta has been out for a couple of days and as per usual, I always like to come back a few days later, talk about additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the beta for a couple of days. Now in today's video, I also want to talk about beyond iOS 17. Apple has made some awesome announcements and I want to talk about that in today's video. So let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Now the first thing I want to talk about is Apple's major announcements that happened this week iOS 18 will be supporting RCS rich communication services which means inside of messages you'll now get an additional standard in order to communicate better with Android users now the green bubbles and blue bubbles will still remain Apple mentions that iMessage will of course be the most secure messaging service for iPhone users but the addition of RCS will add things like red receipts typing indicators when you have a reaction you'll be able to see an inline reaction properly on an iPhone and on an Android device when you have group messages or media being sent over like maybe photos or videos they'll look a lot nicer so RCS support will be coming next year with iOS 18 and this is a major announcement coming from Apple so with iOS 18 this will be an additional standard added to the messages application which I'm happy to report now let's go ahead and talk about some of the additional changes within iOS 17.2 the latest beta 3 and I want to start off with a new option for the music application in Apple Music as well. So if we go into settings here, on our iPhones with iOS 17.2, Apple has added a new option right here, right there it is, add favorites songs to playlists. So with iOS 17.2, in case you didn't know, if you're listening to a song and you click the favorite icon, this will automatically add that song to a playlist under your playlist right here. So playlist favorites, that song should be added onto your playlist. However, if you don't want every single song to be added to a playlist, when you click that favorite button, then you can turn this off and that will not happen. This is a new option within iOS 17.2 developer beta 3. Now I've also noticed that within the latest beta the actual photos application will ask for permission to access your Apple Music. This is for better curation when you have your memories creation and things like that. So this is a welcome addition here as well. Now when it comes to sharing your name and photo with other people you have a new option here for sharing name and photo under the FaceTime and of course you also have it under the phone extension and settings that will allow you to select whether you want to always ask to do this or only with contacts. So you can see right here, this is what the menu looks like and you'll find that under your FaceTime and phone settings extension in the settings application. So now I wanna shift my attention over to a feature that was added to the keyboard. If we go into general and we go into keyboard, Apple has added this new, right there it is, show predictions in line. Now when I first updated to the latest beta three on 17.2, this feature was not showing up on some of my iPhones, what I had to do was disable dictation and re-enable it, turn off my iPhone, turn it back on, and the feature appeared on the actual options right here. So basically you can turn off those predictions in line with 17.2 beta 3 and beyond. As you can see right there, when I initially installed the software on this iPhone, it was showing on the top portion of the features list for the keyboard we're now showing on the bottom portion right there it is and sometimes it wasn't even showing at all i'm not sure why that is the feature doesn't work properly just yet but yeah this is a new option for the keyboard now again what was once old is now new again apple has surprised us with additional wallpapers as well once again these wallpapers we're not showing up for me. Initially, we now have those live wallpapers back on the iPhone. As you can see right there, we can select it's under the features option and the collections option. You have several options to choose from here with colors, green, yellow, we have orange, we have the red, a purple, and of course we have the standard. And you can go into the dark mode, of course, and you'll get the dark mode variant of that wallpaper as well, which looks super cool. Let's go ahead and add that. This is an old live wallpaper that was previously available and Apple has brought it back. So again, what was once old is now new again as you can see right there so yeah these are some of the latest new features and changes in addition within ios 17.2 developer of beta 3 of course i'll continue digging around the software and share additional information with you guys in the upcoming days in regards to beta don't expect any betas next week it is thanksgiving week here in the u.s the next beta most likely on the week of the 27th and an official release should be around the week of the 11th of december apple could release another update 17.1.2 maybe even to address some wi-fi concerns for some users but that's for another video thank you for watching this quick update guys and i'll see you guys on the next one peace